Okay, hey, <clears throat> we're back. Uh, we're doing a series of the first um, first videos ever played on MTV. This was back in 1981, August. Uh, we're on the fourth video. The first was the was Video Killed the Radio Star by the Buggles. The second was You Better Run by Pat Benatar. And the third was She Won't Dance With Me by Rod Stewart. This is You Better You Bet from The Who. And uh, it's in black and white. There's a promo video uh, that they put together. So let's take a look. Oh, by the way, this is the fourth video ever played on MTV. It's also the 55th, the 98th, the 141st, and the 191st video. So it's actually the first video to be repeated um, when they played it as the 55th video. So, um, this was a hit for The Who. Uh, let's take a look. So this is Roger Daltrey, if you don't know The Who, this is Roger Daltrey, uh, Pete Townsend on the guitar, and uh, John Entwistle on the bass, and then Kenny Jones on drums. There's also a keyboard player, which typically uh, isn't considered part of The Who. The keyboard player is John um, Bundrick, and he's in the video here as well. I noticed something at the very, the, at the very beginning I want to go back to, uh, some kind of a some kind of a spider on the neck. I think right here on John Entwistle's neck. Let's see. Yeah, you can see that spider right down there. I don't know what it is. It's a. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if he's famous for having spiders. There you can see it better. So I don't know if you can see it right here. It's kind of strange. I mean, obviously it's not a real spider. It's plastic of some type. Uh, but I don't know what it means. I've never heard of that or seen that. Uh, that's the kind of weird stuff that I like to do research on. So maybe I'll do that. But anyway, that's John Entwistle, uh, the bass player for The Who Forever. This was actually the end kind of the ending of the later stages of the who's career in um, the early 80s because they're a band that got together in the 60s um, i believe this is the last song that they ever had which would be considered a, a hit or a solo hit um, but uh yeah never saw that spider thing before let me go back to where we were i apologize i that's the stuff that catches my attention <laughs> You better bet your life
I love stuff like that. He showed up late and he knew it. And you can see him kind of smiling about, oops, I missed that part. Take a look. It's a, it's a lip sync video, obviously. So, uh, that's funny. Better, 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 better. I'm sorry, I didn't go back far enough. Yeah, you say you better. You better, you better, you better. When I say I need you, you say you better. You better. who you better you bet so interesting um, <clears throat> in 1981 for this video to come out it kind of exposed the who to a whole new generation of um, music listeners because the who was massively huge in the 60s and early 70s but m myself growing up um, this was not new exposure because I was really, you know, exposed to rock music through FM radio and classic rock, but um, very possibly the first time that I ever saw any, you know, um, activity or movement, uh, I guess, anything, saw them visually um, would have been this video. And they had big, they had a big tour after this. They ended up, um, I actually had tickets for a show. It was either in Toledo or Detroit, and it ended up getting canceled because back then, I, I, I think it's. I think it happens again. So back then they had what was called general admission tickets. And everyone had general admission. So you whether you had a seat or you didn't have a seat or whatever um they did a show in cincinnati and um when they opened the doors you know if you have general admission it's first come first serve whoever gets to the front by the stage first is the one who's going to be there or who's going to stay there probably and so they opened the doors and something about not all the doors got opened or uh, long story short, there was a, a, an accident where some people got run over and trampled and um, several people ended up dying and they canceled the rest of the tour. And that was in Cincinnati here in Ohio. So I know, I remember at that time that they canceled the tour because they were eliminating um, general admission you they, they decided after that that there had to be seats and I don't know if that was just in Ohio or if that was across the country but I know the the show that I had tickets for um, ended up canceled as, as a result of that so anyways uh, the who the fourth video ever played on MTV uh, let me know your thoughts and um, let's go on to number five <laughs> 